Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and we're back with some more LEGO The Incredibles. This happens to be Chapter 11, Above Par Story. That's right, we're in the home stretch of the story. We only have one more level after this. We are going to get a trophy achievement called I'm Just Happy You're Alive, and we're going to shoot for that 250 true super requirement. But let's go ahead and jump right in, right where we left off. Oh, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I'll let this happen, you know. The new sports car, the getting in shape, the blonde hair, the lies. And now I'm losing him. <laughs> what are, what are you what talking you? about? Hmm? You are Elastigirl! Pull yourself together! What will you do? Is, is, is this a question? You will show him you remember that he is Mr. Incredible, and you will remind him who you are. Come, darling. Don't be tedious. We have much to discuss. Well, this is pretty sweet. I wasn't sure we were going to get a full-on tour of Edna Modes, but we did. Look at this. And, and to be honest with you, I thought we were supposed to advance up the stairs, so I was, I was like backtracking, looking at all these costumes, thinking, man, this is pretty sweet. Then thinking that Free Roam would be a nice little exploratory adventure down here, too. But it turns out we get a little grand tour right now. And, of course, I tried to hack the terminal with Ms. Incredible, but as it turns out, you need Edna Mode. And look at that, it worked out just fine. So go ahead and play a little game of connect the dots, la la la. And once you match them all up, we'll go ahead and cut to collect them all. Oh, stack them up, stack them up, stack them. I don't think that there's any bonus for getting them all. I just think that there's a large amount available. Uh, but I need to figure that out. Maybe there's something else I'm missing that gives you something even cooler. That's kind of a panic moment right there where that gun comes out from the ceiling and is like, who are you? Who are you? About to pew, pew, pew. <laughs> I don't know. I was just playing around, guys. Uh, let's see here. Hey, if you haven't already become a patron on our Patreon.com account, slide on over there and check it out. There's all sorts of tiers. We have a behind-the-scenes Facebook page that has uh, all sorts of things, including... Uh, uh, videos that you don't see on our normal Facebook or YouTube channels, pictures. Uh, we also have even have some contests going on over there. So uh, definitely check it, check it out. And all we did was flip a switch at the end of the hallway there, and it opened the door. But it also closed the door. Wait, what's going on? So we got access, but not quite. So we're going to have to go, go, gadget arms and stretch on through this little spot here. And inside we got a, sl a, a little lever. I was going to say <laughs> a sliver. <laughs> a switch, lever, a sliver, you know. Just go ahead and flip that sliver and drop that battery. And look at that. Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea, dropping one of those big... Those are, that's a big battery. Think about that. I, I remember those big batteries used to put in the large uh, flashlights, the big square ones like that. In fact, I think my grandparents still have one of those, crazy enough. But slide it into place down the checkerboard path, and away we go into another cutscene. Cream and sugar. As you will see, these suits are completely indestructible. Are they machine washable and, and tumble dry? Snug, I'm calling in a solid you owe me. What do you need? A jet. What do you got that's fast? You, sir, truly are Mr. Incredible. You know, I was right to idolize you. I, I, I always knew you were tough. But taking advantage of an injured super? Oh, man! I'm still geeking out about it! And then you had to just go and ruin the huh? ride. I mean, Mr. Incredible calling for help? Help me, help me. <laughs> All right, who did you contact? Contact? What are you talking about? Play the transmission. Hi, and approach India Golf 999 are checking in. on top, over. That's it, make sure it's all off. Is it all gone? Am I good? Huh? Oh. So you do know these people? Oh, well, then, I'll send them a little greeting. Violet? It's not my fault! Dash ran away, and I knew I'd get blamed for That's it, and I thought he'd try to sneak on the plane. So I came here, and you closed the doors where I could find him, and then you took off, and it's not my fault! Wait a minute, wait a minute. 
You left Jack-Jack alone? Yes, Mom, I'm completely no, stupid. Of course we got a sitter. Do you think I'm totally irresponsible? Great. Thanks a lot. That. All right, well, who'd you get? India Golf 9 or 9 are transmitting in the blind guard. Disengage, repeat, disengage! Disengage, repeat, disengage! Bye, you have to put a force field around the plane. But you said we weren't supposed to use our power. I know what I said. Listen to what I'm saying now. <laughs> disengage, repeat, disengage! Shaky! <laughs> Look at this. This is actually a crazy scene, and these are always panic moments for me, too. Why, you ask? Well, as you guys probably have figured out by now, we are pretty strict on the whole saving collectibles for free play. And in these falling situations, there's almost always a spot you have to be to grab a mani kit. And, you know, usually it has something to do with, like, a stud soikle, and, you know, I am literally smashing into everything, trying to stay out of the middle, trying to actually keep a clear view of what was ahead of me, too. So if you're wondering why I'm literally bouncing off every piece of shrapnel, it's because I was trying to avoid a potential mini kit so that I didn't have to play the level over again because I would have had to. And then, you know, there's always that chance that I'm going to get it again on the next fall, too, right? That's never fun. So uh, being a perfectionist for you guys, I think, is important. I want you to... Oh, there was Hamlet floating down there, too. Uh, but I think it's important that you guys have a, a, a pretty strict guideline of what you know you need to do. Uh, like, watch the free play videos for the collectibles. You shouldn't have to watch the story and the free play and the free roam just to get, you know, a couple. So we try to simplify that for you. But, hey, we are almost done with our plummet to our doom. And guess what? Cutscene. All right, we finally met the bottom, and, uh, you know, I'm not sure that cool is the word I would use. Uh, exhilarating, perhaps? But uh, not cool. So uh, as we float around here, we notice that there is a group build, and uh, that's usually a pretty good sign that we're going to need some incredible bricks, which, hey, look at that. There happens to be one floating up on that weird column there. And why there's a pink flamingo here, not quite sure, although it does help us gain access to this stud suicle. But it doesn't really do a whole lot for us, at least not right yet. As we make our way around the backside of the turbine, though, we realize that there is a glowing box in need of some smashing. So we'll go ahead and drop it like it's hot and rebuild those bricks into one of those sweet spherical spots. So we know we're going to need to be Vi. And look at that. We've got our sphere out. Next, we're going to need Dash. Step right up there, buddy. And we'll go ahead and get our turbine on. That's right, we're actually going to spin this giant wheel around and make that makeshift float go over towards that column with that Incredibrick on top of it. Once it gets over there, we actually take note that there is an Elastigirl spot up top, so we'll go ahead and go, go, Gadget Arms here. That's right, get your stretch on. And up top, we'll, uh, dang it, we actually have to climb her. I, this is a little weird to me, I don't know. I get it, I get it, but it's a little weird, so... Uh, go ahead and climb up your mama's belly here and get all the way to the top and grab that incredible brick, which I believe is the first of four. We'll find out here in a hot second. Uh, one of three. So I was wrong. I forgot how to math. But uh, look at this. There's another one right here inside this little crate. 
But how do we get it open? Not quite sure. Ooh, some more glowing bricks. We'll bust slam. Bust slam. Boy, I'm, I'm merging words together today. It's a creative day, I tell you what. But uh, look at that. We've actually fastened a grapple plug so we can go ahead and use the grappling arm of Ms. Elastigirl to go ahead and, uh, yeah, make it happen. Oh, look at that. We've also got this. Oh, it's a little boat. That's not what we're after. That is going to be something related to free play. And hey, check it, check it out. If you have not already, you should probably investigate our Facebook page. We actually have giveaways and all sorts of information that we post there pretty much regularly. Now, the giveaways are usually Fridays. I've missed a couple recently, and that's my bad. But, you know, we have Lego t-shirts, hats, stickers, all sorts of things that we've given away over the years. So pretty cool and definitely worth a look-see. Not to mention it helps you stay in the know, or in the now, as we like to say, as far as what we got going on around the channel. So, hey, uh, I've kind of talked over a little bit here. We want to use Vi and her super sweet shield to go ahead and get underwater. That's right, after a sweet swim. Look, it's very Nemo-esque under there, if I do say so myself. And uh, once you get that incredible break, go ahead and surface back up top. And last but not least, we're going to need to go over here. You can see there's an incredible break in the back left side here but how do we get there well looks like we're going to use elastigirl's go go gadget arm ability to go ahead and stretch up tires look at that we're going to knock this box down and oh it's a ladder i was waiting to have some buildable bricks but it turns out it made it for us so get up there and grab that brick and we're going to make oh wait we don't we don't can't do it yet we got to get our beep bubble beep bubble we got to hack that terminal up there and i do believe vi is our resident specialist when it comes to the smart stuffs. You know, you know how it is in the family. Usually, the teenager is probably the most tech savvy. Not always. There's some some savvy moms and dads out there too, and some younger brothers and sisters as well. I won't discredit any of you, but you know how it is. Generally, the teenager is probably the most up to date on that kind of stuff. All right, uh, one last little connect the dots. La la la. Well, at least for now. And then the major fail happened. So, so okay, I talked about how this level is pretty long and separated by cutscenes. However, there are a couple of sections coming up that I had to make some edits in. Now, you guys know I'm really against making edits as much as possible because I don't like jumping around from spot to spot, and I hate hard edits. I don't like it when you're on a boat in one section, and then the edit happens, and then you're on a plane. You're like, well, wait a minute. How did I get from the boat to the plane? I hate that stuff. So I try to remove those edits as much as possible, but I had to do one coming up here but you wouldn't you might not even be able to tell if I wouldn't have told you but I'm telling you because I totally had a brain fart and missed something that was right on screen in front of me and it took me a while to get through it so I wanted to make sure that I did my best to help prevent you from having the same situation now granted the game knew I was gonna struggle with the moment coming up and it actually tells me what to do but for some reason my brain doesn't see those hints on screen so Basically, what you do is you complete the Incredit build, and of course, we get all these studs that pop out. You're going to want to use Dash to go ahead and run on the water to collect as many of those blues and pueples twos. However, once you get done, we actually need to ride that ramp and get out of here. But see, I got confused, and I thought I was going to need to use that like makeshift float or maybe the uh, pink flamingo. But no, look on the bottom left side of your screen, it's actually telling you switch to Elastigirl, press and hold the icon indicated, and then you're going to make this sweet little boat. And then Dash hops on the back, and away we go. We have a confirmed hit. Target was destroyed. Ah, uh, you'll get over it. Ah, oh. weasel. Step right up, step right up to Brian's brain fart number two. That's right, you know, sometimes there's that one video in a playlist that just, you know, it doesn't quite fail, but it doesn't quite succeed either. And I, you know, I thought we already had that video. Usually it's just a minor mistake or two. 
However, I do think this one's gonna take the cake as I have another mistake in this particular section. We had one in the last section, and unfortunately there is one in the next section after this too. So uh, yeah, like I said, this is a long level, and rather than replay the whole level over, I fixed my problem and got through it. So what what I did here is, what, what the big brain fart was here, is that you know you need to use that sweet sphere to get by those laser beams. And for some reason, I'm not catching on to that. Like, I am just in that whole theory of, well, if you can't find out what you need to do, you need to smash everything in sight, because that's usually how you get through. But look, now as I get close to the laser wall there, it actually indicates what I need to do, and henceforth the edit that comes through there. So essentially, I ran around for another three or four minutes going, which way do I go? Which way do I go? What do I do? How do I get through here? And then it finally hits me. Wait a minute, the sphere should probably block off. And then I see the thing in the corner. I'm like, oh, da doi. I'm not sure why my brain phases out that help situation in the corner there, but it literally like pretends like it's not there. Speaking of pretending like it's not there, what's the soccer ball doing there? Now, I've been playing a lot of Fortnite lately, and I know that in a recent edition, they added those soccer goals all over the place, and one of the challenges was you had to get soccer goals. Why is there a soccer ball here, though? Now, I even have seen the movie and remember this section... Sort of, because they'd kind of altered it a little bit. But it, I don't remember a soccer ball ever being involved. And I certainly don't remember chickens and snakes and who knows what else. Ugh. But uh, all right, so once we're inside here, we actually have a multi-build, which I've got the left side targeted up. I'm going to need some help from my good buddy Dash. So flip the switch there to go ahead and remove that laser beam wall and allow the rest of our party inside. And once we get to the back here, we're going to go ahead and try to make it raise the roof. Success. Oh, and look at that. There's an Elastigirl spot up top, but she's too busy bouncing around. Now, I don't remember what these things are called, uh, but, you know, I definitely remember getting in some trouble in an old Toys R Us, which R.I.P. Toys R Us, much love. Uh, but, you know, bouncing around. Uh, after seeing the uh, Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead movie, you know, they go on that date and they bounce around. I just had to do it. I had to do it. But anyhow, uh, speaking of have to do it, smash the old pink slash purple or violet flowers up top. And then, of course, get into her sweet sphere mode. And you should be able to pick up all of the loose violet bits bouncing around on the ground. Once you get them all or the meter is completer, you should be able to step up to the cycle over on the far right side and press and hold the icon indicator, which for us is circle again. So to the cycle to press cycle. And once you press and hold it, I, for some reason I like to tap it, tap, 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 and I keep messing it up, but press and hold and watch it build up this, what is that? Looks like a skeleton backbones of some sort. What it really is, is part of a ramp. And we're going to use the other multi-build to go ahead and complete that, which is actually a dash, dash point. So I don't know what they're really called. Probably just dash point. Dash, dash seems very repetitive. But go ahead and build up the base and then step up to the plate. Hit the icon indicated and look at that. We are out of here. Once we run all the way up top, we knock that rock down, which gives us a nice little ladder to get up and over this right-hand wall here. Now we are getting pretty close to the next section, but we're going to need some help from Elastigirl first to go ahead and grapple her, her way across. Now, all right, another little uh, moment of, I don't know if I'd call it fail, but definitely not success here. So you got to grapple across, right? And then you got to use this point over here in the corner. And yeah, I got a little little uh, caught up in the old circle. <laughs> I hope this doesn't happen for you guys too, but it, it was pretty frustrating. At the same time, I was laughing pretty good. Uh, hopefully you guys did too. Once you get across, use the other circle point there to go ahead and stretch Mama's way all the way across, giving her little one safe passage across. And now we've got a little path to follow up top. And ooh, it's a picnic. Uh, watch out for them hot coals there, lady. She went ahead and jumped right down. Now, I, listen, we've got a picnic going on here. It was kind of rude of me to destroy that or upset the balance there. We do have another laser beam wall, which this time I didn't forget I needed to use my sweet sphere to get through. Flip the switch, giving our party access in here. And look at this. Elastigirl can go ahead and hop up and see what's on the other side. All right, so here's the uh, an, another, another moment of whoopsie. Um, we go ahead and slide through here and... What's going on? Oh, yeah, that's right. We do have a small cutscene here in between my whoopsie. So I slide through, and as soon as I get through this other vent, it takes us into a short little run. Ah! It's the boss! No, it's worse. 
You know, I'm, I'm not very good at pool or billiards, but uh, I feel like I could take those guys. And all right, so here was my little mistake there. So I, I slip through and I back off and you know, I'm like, what do I do? I'm trying to punch those glowing items down below. I can't quite get the right angle, but here it comes, here it comes. Here's the edit, see if you can see it. Uh, and there it was. See, my editing skills over the years, I mean, I've uploaded over 2000 videos to this YouTube channel, not responsible for all of them, but I've had a big part of most of them, probably like 1,500 at least. So, you know, I'd like to think my editing skills are above par. Huh? Huh? No? Okay. Uh, Reese would tell me right now that I'm not punny. So ho hopefully you guys caught the joke. I don't know. I, I know that one of yous out there will, at least. I, I hope. Fingers are crossed. But anyways, uh, back inside this room now with our whole team, we can go ahead and do a couple of butt slams, which will give us some bouncing bricks that we can build up into a hamster wheel. That's right, we're going to go ahead and build up one of these power wheels and hop in it with Dash, and away we go. That's right, pom, 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 it up. Once that power is a flowing, a jukebox should kick on. No, I'm just kidding. It's actually going to flip the old elevator around, and it, for a minute I wasn't sure what's going on. I love Dash's little... Uh, moment of uh, boredom there how he just starts kind of like dancing around it's super cool all right we get up top and it's uh ooh, it's like this weird cool trickery door there you know i've always wondered how in ancient times they made those like moving rock walls and things i think i brought this up before uh but you know how do they, how do they make that i know counterweights and stuff but i mean how do they make this it's just crazy to me with all the pulleys and ugh. All right, uh, you know, somebody asked me how you get the 75 times multiplier. Now, we've got some good information on our trophy achievement guide that Tyler P. put together for us. Uh, but, you know, I thought maybe the intro screen where you... Uh, so, so if you don't know, when you're loading the game in, like you initially download the game, assuming that you got the digital copy, it allows you to download like one gig or two gigs or something like that. And then you can play in this battle arena mode where just endless waves of guys come. And you just cha-cha-cha-cha-cha over and over and over again. Well, I thought for sure I'd be able to get it there. I got to like 340-something combo, and I could not. It didn't ring it off. So, uh, you know, there's probably multiple places you could do it. But like I said, check our trophy achievement guide for Tyler's best recommended spot. And uh, hopefully we'll get you through that quickly. Now, I ran into another kind of a boo-boo, if you will, or a, a design flaw or some sort of a weird glitch, loading bug, whatever you want to call it. You can see here I have officially got my little raft out with Ms. Incredible. But I, I have not, uh, you know, been able to get Dash behind it. But look at that. Finally, I get behind it. So you might have to, like, leave the raft, jump back in, triangle in or out or Y, depending on which console you're playing on. But, you know... Hopefully you don't run into that, but definitely get off and back on and see if that fixes it for you. I know a few of you have had some weird loading bugs and glitches. For whatever reason, a lot of them seem to be reported on the Xbox One, too. And by no means am I hating on that system, but it's weird how often in, in certain games, uh, you know, one platform will do better than another. And, and I really don't know why. I'm sure it's just something to do with the way that the game was developed or maybe the engine the game was developed on. But regardless of the case, I, I, I feel for you Xbox Oneers as I've definitely heard a handful of reports come in of this game and I swear like 90% of them have been on that. All complaints of slow load times, uh, definitely some issues with collectibles not showing up and stuff too. Uh, so anyways, uh, hopefully that those those little bugs will get fixed with some updates if they haven't already. And hopefully, the, you know, this will be the last time. And, 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 you know, for what it's worth, hopefully next time it's the PlayStation guys, even though that would mean me. <laughs> Anyhow. All right, so we have officially taken all the bad guys out in the area except for these last two. It does seem like there is a kind of an endless spawn of guys, but they don't really spawn fast enough to get that 75 multiplier either, which is another reason why I brought that up, because it seems like if you just kind of hung out here, you might have, like, this endless supply of guys, but they're just too slow. So uh, once you get the main guys down and out and you get this uh this little device in the back built go ahead and step on it and look at that we're gonna <laughs> that's pretty cool we are out of here yeah. i think your father is in trouble if you haven't noticed, Mom, we're not doing so hot either. I'm going to look for him, and that means you're in charge until I get back, Violet. What? You heard her. Stay hidden. 
Keep each other safe. I'll be back by morning. Just when you thought the level was over, nope, you've got some more running to do. So this is kind of cool, but again, another panic moment for me as I was super worried that I was going to find myself a mini kit or some sort of a collectible that I was going to have to replay this level over again for. Now, I actually was a dummy and did not read Tyler P's Trophy Achievement Guide list with all of the collectible information on it, so I really wasn't sure if there was something waiting for me here or not, and that's my bad. I should have known, and as it turns out, there, there, there wasn't. At least I didn't run into one, and I still haven't looked at the old Trophy Achievement Guide for the collectibles, so... Uh, but hey, if you guys are ahead of me and looking for those collectibles, collectibles, you just know that there is always a guide up on our website long before the videos go up as well. And that's not necessarily in our intention. It just so happens that, you know, Tyler and Doug are pretty good gamers and they get through these games a lot faster than I am able to get through the game and record the videos and then the audios and then the uploads and all that stuff. Uh, so, you know, definitely playing is a lot faster than documenting. And uh, so anyways, uh, definitely check that out if you haven't already. But we are about ready to complete the first half of the running scene, which will take us into a short little cinematic moment and then back to some more running. Right now we are on water. I gotta love this. I mean, I, I think this is really cool. Dash is super fast, and I think it's pretty awesome that they brought the whole running on water into the game. Uh, yeah, so hey, I do apologize too if you guys can hear some weird kind of whining in the background. My neighbors are having their windows redone, and even though I've got the windows closed and even like stuff on top of the way, I got like pillows trying to block the sound, and you can still hear it quite loudly in my room. I don't know if the microphone's picking it up, but uh, if you hear it kind of, it sounds like an engine revving up in the background. They must have like a die grinder or something cutting out all of the edges or seals on the windows. Anyhow, uh, yes, so we are still continuing to run through here. We've got this parrot. I don't know if that's a parakeet, parrot. I, I'm not very good with my bird species. I, I should be better than I am, but anyhow, we've got this uh, bad guy floating behind us now. He's just dropping some pew-pews on us, and we just gotta really just keep on running. There's not a whole lot we can do to avoid or do any anything really and once we get to a certain point it kind of takes over we jump up one last time smash him into the rocks and away we go into the final cutscene and of course we will talk about the totals on the final total so 
I'm not quite there yet. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Hey, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this series. Sorry it's taking me a little bit longer. Life has kind of uh, picked up. I don't know why it always is. I always have so much time when I don't have a project. When a project is up, boom, life kicks in. So final jump, Booyaka Show! <laughs> You're all right. We were so worried about you. I thought I'd never you. see you again. Oh, you're all right. <gasps> whoa, 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 hey! Time out! It's a whole family of supers! Looks like I've hit the jackpot! Oh, this is just too good! All right, most of us, if not all of us, know how this ends, as we've all seen the movie, or I think we have. But, uh, you know, we're going to go ahead and check out the TT slash Warner Brothers edition of how this ends, because you've noticed that the story still kind of tells the same story, but it's a little bit different. Now, we did get that trophy achievement for completing the level called I'm Just Happy You're Alive. We fell short of the true super stud requirement, which is good. No collectibles, of course, but we did get Edna Mode. Unlocked, which is pretty sweet. And O to the end, that is going to wrap it up for Chapter 11, Above Par Story. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, uh, well, give us a thumbs up, like, whatever you want to call it. Check us out on social media if you haven't already. Of course, we got this thumb we must see. But as you guys know, I got more work to do. So as always, until next time.